should uh, you should do a review. Do a what? A review. You want me to review this car? Yeah, you, you, you should. You want me to review this car? That's what I'm saying. You should. Hey, this is a Toyota Avalon TRD. You don't see many of these. I don't know if anybody would care to see this one. You don't think so? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Goodbye, Sonny. Bye. Hey, you stole my car while it's dirty. My car's dirty? All the cars are dirty. Shoot. No, no corny intro for today's video. Um, I just kind of wanted to come out here and film because I am way overdue on a YouTube video and that just eats me alive every day. I'm also overdue on making content with this car itself. This car has been heavily neglected. The wheels are disgusting. The car is disgusting. Even the inside is freaking disgusting because um, I would say the inside dirty because of moving, but that's not the only reason. I'm just really messy and the car is just becoming absolutely disgusting. But really what it comes down to is I have not been really focusing on the car or the channel or anything obviously I've been busy with the shop and getting things set up here and doing my part of the work here um, but that is no excuse for the way this car has been treated and the lack of content with it because honestly it's not just the shop that has been preventing me from making content with this car it's also been my mindset I don't know I just haven't been feeling it lately with this car I haven't been enjoying it as much with this car uh, but that is all about to change and we're gonna go over that today a little bit whereas I have some big plans for this car and the channel uh, Because I don't want to proceed the channel the way that I've been doing it um, I feel like I've gotten really caught up in the idea of making YouTube videos for the numbers for the marketing for the strategy um, Which is good, but at the same time it took the fun out of it for me So I haven't really been enjoying the process of filming this car filming videos with it, making videos, coming up with ideas, etc. I've lost the fun in the hobbies. So I've had a, quite a bit of talks with a bunch of people and I've decided that what I'm gonna do from now on is do what I want to do. I, I feel like every time I've come up with a video or want to film something that I'm doing, I don't end up doing it because I start to think that it wouldn't be good enough for the numbers, it wouldn't be good enough for the channel, uh, the quality wouldn't come out as good as I want it. But deep down that prevents me from filming videos that I want to film and that affects my mindset when it comes to YouTube and, and making videos. And what I really love doing is making videos, so I'm gonna just start making videos. Um, I'm gonna stop looking at the numbers, and that is something that is completely different about me this year compared to last year, was last year all I cared about was the numbers. Now I am not, I could care less about the numbers. All I could care about is you guys and making the content that I want to make. So from now on, you guys are going to see videos that aren't going to be as high quality, which I'm not sure many people even cared about, but they're going to be videos that I want to make. So I hope you guys are ready to see more of my life because this channel is just going to be me documenting what I'm doing, what I want to do, me building my car, me helping Alyssa build her car, all that stuff, me doing stuff at the shop, stuff like that. So hopefully two videos a week. Um, that is the goal because I've been slacking heavy. And uh, as for the BRZ, Here's the rundown. I'm going to be doing quite a bit of things here with this car to kind of change it up a little bit and make it more enjoyable for me because the reason I haven't been feeling this car is because I have been feeling a lack of enjoyment from driving it and that's because this car isn't fully functional the way that I like my cars to be. I used to have an FKA Type R that I could track if I wanted to. I never got around to doing it, but if I wanted to, I could, and I could rip it on the streets whenever I wanted to. And that kind of idea and that mindset was the most enjoyable things about that car. And I plan to do that with this car as well, because right now, it's not exactly set up the way I would like it to. For example, the front tires, currently we're running some 225 4018s, which have a lot of cuts on them because the turn radius was not fully clearanced during SEMA. Uh, it is fully clearance now, so once we throw on some new tires, it'll be good to go. And uh, these tires are actually way too small for my taste. We're actually going to be going with a 255-35-18, which are kind of like the rears because those are 255-40-18, except the sidewall is a little smaller. So it will fit up here, it'll clearance, and it'll look a lot beefier than these little rubber bands. And then we are also planning to rewrap this whole entire car into a new color that you guys will be seeing soon, something a little brighter. Um, I really liked the low-key color 
for now, but when we do the brighter color, I'm hoping to catch a little bit more attention social media wise and fulfill my needs as someone that likes flashy cars uh, because I, did, I do really like this dark look, but I am also excited to have a bright car again. Uh, that, that should look pretty cool. And another really cool thing that we're going to be doing with this car is creating a track variant of this car. And the way we're gonna be doing that is by getting a track set of wheels, which is going to be one of Anovia's monoblock wheels. I will not announce which ones yet because you guys are going to see those, which are super cool. We're gonna be working with them on that. We're also going to be doing a custom front bumper because this bumper is not something I want to run on the track with, something that I don't want to damage because this is a very expensive front bumper that I don't think I would be able to get another one if something were to happen to this one. Um, but I have a custom front bumper idea that's pretty affordable. Uh, something that if I banged up and smacked and crashed that it wouldn't really matter because my buddy Abraham over in Dayland, Florida will be able to fully fix it and make it custom and take care of it. So I think that's going to be really cool as well. More about that custom bumper later. Just know that it's going to look super sick and it's going to flow with the kit still uh, and it'll be really functional. Uh, not that this one isn't, it's just that I'd like to keep this one pretty. And then, then we're also going to be doing new seats because the seats in this car belong to the 600 horsepower Civic behind you. Uh, we're going to be building that car for the channel as well. And Alex is still watching me. I don't hate it when he does this. What, am I making you nervous? Yeah, I mean, there's a reason I'm talking at like this level and not that level. Anyway, uh, we also have to do the cat back exhaust on this car because the NVIDIA N2 on here doesn't currently fit the diffuser. Um, because the Adra diffuser comes out a lot more than the exhaust goes. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna fix that by going with the AWE Track Edition exhaust, fill up that gap, and then give the NVIDIA N2 to Alyssa because her car is currently stock. So this car is gonna get like a full makeover with the new, new wrap, new wheels, new exhaust, new bumper, and new seats, and then we will start tracking the car. And I think that's gonna be super cool because I will get to really learn more about the car, feel the car, because this body kit was designed for functional use, it's not just a show body kit. Um, so I, I can't wait to be able to use this car as a show car and a track car by having those two variants of bumpers and wheels. And then, um, and just kind of making this car more my own and more something that I like to drive more often. Cause right now it looks freaking amazing, but I personally would like to drive this car a lot harder. Uh, and that's gonna require me to learn a lot more. So we're gonna do all the fluids, pads and all that for each track day. And uh, hopefully we can get to doing that in the next two to three months. There's quite a bit of parts I wanna do. I've just gotta save up and do that first, so yeah. Super excited, that's the, uh, that's the build update. Go back to the vlog. And as for the motor, once I track this car and know this car enough, I think I really wanted to case swap this car, okay? But considering that we have the 600 horsepower case swap Civic over there, that we're gonna be building on this channel, doing a wide body, gonna be doing a wrap, we're gonna do a full interior, everything like that. I think I wanna keep this car with the FA24 and either supercharge it or turbo it and just enjoy the car the way it is because I don't want to completely Frankenstein the car and affect its drivability the way that that Civic feels, but I also wanna be able to have race car, which would be that one. Uh, so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this car the way it is. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. I still have connection to K-Power Industries that they're developing the kit for the K-Swap. I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do it, maybe we won't. I'm not sure yet, guys, but, um, but yeah, let me show you guys what we've been so busy with over here in the shop while we're here. Damn, oh, that came out nice. Yeah. That came out really nice. We're tinting a Mark V Supra here, 20% in the rears. Then 35s in the front. And then back here we have some crazy projects going on. We have a BMW X6, which is doing a full car wrap in satin black. Um, as you can see, satin black instead of this blue. And then on the left here, we have our buddy Ron with his wide body WRX. Uh, we're doing it in this maroon color. And a familiar face because he's not coming to the meet tonight because he has to drop his transmission. Yep. Buy lit logos with my discounts, get 5% off. What's your discount? My last name, C-H-I-N-E-A. Okay. All right, so um, we are gonna finish up work here today and then we have a car meet we're going to tonight. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Before we go out tonight and before we go to the show tomorrow, I forgot that we need to switch out this banner, this old Delente banner with our own Risen Wraps banner to promote the shop so that when we rewrap this car, it'll all be 
resin wrapped. So let's get this old thing off. Well, this came out nice. Uh, I'll show it more in a little bit. We're about to go cruise. Oh, there's Alyssa. Say hi. We got Boba, Risen Cruise hanging out. And then we're gonna cruise to Bucky's, so this should be a nice, fun little drive. Oh my God, I'm having to stop the whole cruise because I didn't realize I was completely out of gas. I forgot, and then I ran out. Remember how you texted the group chat, I'm gonna go get gas? Yeah, you never did. No, you never wanted to go to gas. Josh is here. Oh, Seth is here. Oh, Tyler's here. Oh, Bryson's here. Do you like my banner? It's crooked, but it's cool. We're gonna, we're gonna gang up on him. My friend. Hello. How's it going? Hello. He's got, you guys got matching bumpers? We do got matching bumpers. Yeah. Seth's opinion of... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey there's, there's some things to touch up, alright? Alright? He did a better job with yours than mine, so. Bullshit, bullshit. Little car tour. These two are, you guys know these cars, I hope. And then we got more over here. BRZ, BRZ, Supra, Evo. We just tinted one of these today. The BRZ? Here's another BRZ. Um, I really like the lip kit, the side skirts, and the wing. This is a really well done one. I haven't seen one. Yeah, it does need suspension wheels, but other than that, like, this is the crystal white. This is cool. The diffuser is really cool, too. This is Seth's SI, and his underglow is jank. Mandarin colors. It's giving really Rio kind of... Rio? Is that why you put it on? You listen to Jamaican music on your way here? Here's Ollie's new Civic. He got a new spoiler and diffuser that I really want to see. Oh, damn. That is really cool. I like this wing. What is this? K-Series, big turbo. Bone stock. <laughs> it's okay. It's, a, it's an awesome car, man. Five speed? Five speed, yeah. Wow. What the fuck? That's a front from the 80s. This is basically a Lamborghini. <laughs> Oh, and then here's a Bill's crazy gay, I mean, uh, RBG <laughs> car. <laughs> Bro, those headlights, though. Another big wang, of course. Big old Voltex. I think Risen's statement is having big wings. This is the Integra Type R. And the most beefy Type S on the planet. This thing's got a big wang. It's, it's making the most horsepower any NA Type S could possibly make. And it sounds freaking amazing. Look who pulled up. It's Raph. It's Raph. Here you go, Josh. Yeah, something else. Here you go. I'm dancing. I'm be like, oh, I like hi, it. daddy. Hi, daddy. <laughs> Dude, have fun editing over the Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Raph. <laughs> Take over the excited. Raph. Raph XD. Oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy chill. Daddy chill. Daddy chill. <laughs> she Why? <laughs> Just because, I guess. I couldn't make the U-turn, that's why. Secure. What is Get to work, David. <laughs> David, the detailer, coming in clutch, saving my wheels for tomorrow. Wow. That is a big difference. Yep. I think my camera's dirty. That's crazy. Wow. Look at these. Okay, look at this wheel, guys. I wish I did before. And then, like, look how, like, matted this one is. Another successful night. Gotta watch these fucking cars now. Shit's disgusting. <laughs> Let's go. Alrighty. 
car wash time. Oh. It's time for a car wash in our new apartment's car wash care center, which is super cool, by the way. We did move, so we have a nice little car care center. And alrighty, uh, who put a trash bag in here? Interesting. Okay, we have the Griot's garage bucket, and then. We're going to be using wrap detailer at the end of all of it. We're going to be using the Sumer Performance car shampoo. And we're going to be using our Jay Leno wheel cleaner. And then we got a bunch of microfibers, wash mitts for both cars, and a big drying towel. So we should be good for today's wash because my car is disgusting. Melissa's car is covered in, God knows, the sprinkler water. I don't know how to get on camera. All done guys, uh, cars are completely fully washed. And be sure if you guys aren't following this car yet, the Instagram's right here on Instagram. You guys get to see all of the updates with this car. Um, and the whole car overall is finally shiny again. It's been a long time, but I'm gonna start loving this car again, that's for sure. And I really, I really like this car wash place. This is awesome to have in the neighborhood. Our apartment is near here, but this is literally like walking distance from our apartment and I can't believe we have a place to wash our cars together for free. This doesn't cost anything so I think that's really cool. And um, you guys got the update on the BRZ, what we're gonna be doing to this car. There's a lot and I'm gonna love this car a lot more. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. And damn, that looks so good. Oh, beefy. So yeah, um, tomorrow we have our show fuel fest you guys are gonna get to see all of that tomorrow but thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like comment subscribe and never stop dreaming